Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Jin, the Virtuoso. A twisted murderer behind a smiling mask, Jin isn't interested in simply killing his victims, but obsesses over killing them perfectly. He sees death as the single most important moment in a person's life, and strives to make each spectacular. In game, Jin takes up a marksman role, and terrorizes his enemies with powerful pistol-based attacks and some of the longest-ranged abilities in the game. Jin's passive is named after his gun, Whisper, and has two components. First, Whisper can only chamber four bullets, the last of which always crits and deals bonus damage based on his target's missing health. After he's fired his fourth bullet, or if a few seconds pass without him firing at all, Jin will take a moment to reload. Second, Whisper has a fixed attack speed, and any attack speed and crit chance he gets during a game converts into attack damage. His crits deal less damage than usual, but give him a burst of movement speed based on his would-be attack speed. The TLDR is that Jin's going to attack a lot slower, but deal a lot more damage per shot, while any crit and AS buys will help him kite or chase. Next up is Jin's Q, Dancing Grenade. Jin throws a canister at an enemy, which deals damage before bouncing to the next nearest baddie. Dancing Grenade can strike up to four total targets, and deals increased damage on successive bounces whenever it lands a kill. The damage amp stacks, meaning Dancing Grenade will deal tons of damage on its fourth bounce if the previous three all scored a kill. Use Dancing Grenade to keep your damage flowing while you're reloading, and to inflict damage on your target whenever they're near low health minions. You also get easy minion gold, which is nice. Now to Jin's W. Deadly Flourish passively marks enemy champions who've been struck by Jin's basic attacks, his E, or allied champion damage. When activated, Jin fires a shot in a target direction that stops on the first enemy champion struck, damaging them along with all minions and monsters along the way. If Jin hits a marked target, Deadly Flourish will root them and gift Jin a burst of movement speed as well. Use Deadly Flourish to help out your allies from backstage. As mentioned in the Jin introduction, you have massive range, especially with your W, and you can help your allies flee from danger or stick to their targets. Jin's E, Captive Audience, plants a Lotus Trap at a target location that turns invisible and arms after a short delay. Enemy champions who walk over these traps trigger them, revealing nearby enemies and creating a sizable slowing zone for a couple of seconds. That's basically the countdown timer to GTFO, because when the slow zone collapses, it deals damage to everyone still inside. Jin can store up the two traps at a time, and once they're placed, they last a couple of minutes before disarming. Captive Audience also has a passive, Beauty and Death, which causes enemy champions killed by Jin to instantly create the same slowing zone and subsequent explosion as a triggered Lotus Trap. Place your Captive Audience traps along typical jungler paths to buy you a few seconds during enemy gank attempts. Remember to keep an eye on your map though. Traps save lives, but only with solid map awareness. Finally, Jin's ultimate is Curtain Call. On first activation, Jin takes aim in a broad target area. He can then reactivate Curtain Call to fire up to four shots. Each bullet reveals the area around them as they travel, damaging minions and monsters in their path and stopping at the first enemy champion struck. Each round slows the champion they hit and deals increasing damage based on the snipee's missing health. 
In case you haven't picked up on it yet, four is totally Jin's favorite number, so the deadliest bullet, which is guaranteed to crit, comes last. Finally, if his targets all manage to duck hunt their way out of Jin's target area, he can cancel Curtain Call early and refund a portion of its cooldown based on the number of unspent bullets. Curtain Call is clearly a super powerful execute move, but sometimes you're better off using it to slow distant enemies for your allies that are chasing them down. Or you can just steal all their kills. I mean, you're a marksman, you do need the gold more than they do. Jin is nasty in lane when he teams up with a CC heavy support. To get the biggest bang out of your buck, you want to chain Deadly Flourish so it roots right before your lane pal's CC wears off. Getting this right takes practice, but you can imagine all the implications. Jin's only got four bullets in most encounters, meaning you have to be super selective when choosing your targets during fights. While his target selection in this fight makes sense for any other marksman, Jin doesn't have enough bullets left to finish off Callista, leaving her alive with just a sliver of health. Jin can start fights from well outside counterattack range, using Deadly Flourish and Curtain Call to whittle down or kill off your enemies. Here he sets up to go foraging for kills from the opposite side of the Dragon Pit, landing his fourth shot on Jinx to speed into the fight. From here, Jin waltzes in, hitting whatever's convenient before flashing towards Jinx and killing her off with that lethal fourth bullet. If you're trying to run from an enemy, try laying down a captive audience trap along your escape path. Then, once your wannabe killer triggers it, nail them with deadly flourish. You'll slow, root, and hurt them, and probably enable your great escape. Sometimes you're better off tagging beefy frontliners, slowing them from reaching your team's squishies, like you. Other times, you'll spot low health baddies clustered with their team, giving you the opportunity to pick up a target and deal AoE damage from the subsequent beauty in death explosion. Jin has a ton of tools to help his team take down stranded enemies, even when the Virtuoso himself is miles away. Alistair tries going in, but ends up pulverizing a whole lot of nothing after a pretty gnarly flash. Now stranded, Jin's allies start hungering for beef, applying the passive from Deadly Flourish and setting up a long-range route. Repeated slows from Curtain Call then send Alistair to the slaughterhouse, meaning Jin tipped the cow's fate while remaining farther than a screen away. Thanks for tuning in to the Jin Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>